this is the Trinest stool. It's a stool made out of reclaimed wood and featuring a recycled plastic top. And hi, that's me. I'm Bryce from the Waffle Beaver channel. And I make stuff out of trash. Some people say trash out of trash. And uh, this is how I made this stool. I start really simple with a uh, boxy, basic, and barely meeting my design constraints. And to get started, I'll simply look on Google Images, Pinterest, Instagram, just look at hashtag stools. I'll save images and write down what I like and don't like. So when I start drawing, I will start boxy and basic and eventually move on into hitting details. I'll make changes and hit save as with every change that's made and this removes a lot of the fear of losing the original and allows me to compare to keep what I like versus don't like. I try to make at least 10 iterations before I start cutting anything and it's just to really try and make something I like. From the design I'll be able to export a SVG or scalable vector graphic file so I can cut out this template which I'll use to lay out onto a big piece of wood like this and do a rough cut on the bandsaw. And I try to get as close as I can to the line because I'll be attaching the template onto this piece of wood and then using a flush from router bit. So the closer you can get, the better. It just helps. And speaking of the flush from router bit, don't do this. It's not very safe, but I, uh, I'm an idiot, so this is how I use a router. So this plate that I'm drilling holes into right now is going to have T-nuts, or it's a prep for T-nuts in this kind of three-hole pattern, and it's going to be what I use to embed into the plastic so that the plastic seat top, um, so you won't see fasteners in it looking down at it from the top. So here I am shredding polypropylene. As you can see, it's uh, plastic containers. And then I take that shred and I melt it into this pot. I compress and then I cover it and keep on melting it until it's uh, like a homo homogeneous black looking thing. Then I'll throw it into the, uh, the mold, which is another cast iron pot. And I'll just get as much clamps as I can to compress it. And getting the clamps onto the mold is actually, it's stressful because the polypropylene will cool pretty fast and it's always a relief to take apart the mold and you know, you see this piece that's molded perfectly into the pan and it's just cool. It's just, it, this is one of the best feelings about recycling plastic. You take it apart and then you get this like perfect shaped. It's unreal. I guess I have to take back the perfect shape because I do have to clean up, you know, the overflow. And I do have to use sharp little tools and really clean up the edges so that it's uh, nice to sit on. But it's it's not too bad. It doesn't take too long and it, it really machines and carves out really easily. Um, so I'm using a little spoke shave and just a chisel to do this, this work. To assemble the stool, I use a recycled plastic mallet that I made to hammer the middle plate into the legs and then hammer the legs into the top plate. It's a pretty simple design and uh, stills away nicely and stacks. And I'd like to know what you think about this design. And if you could leave a comment and also let me know what you think you'd pay for something like this. It'd be, I'm just curious to know. So thank you for watching. Um, yeah, recycle plastic.